the ring. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Fucking hell. Jesus. How the fuck did you manage that? I went to go and put the top on all slick and just freaking... Where to God, man? You're an idiot. People are going to start thinking you're doing it on pub. It's gone all down the radio in the back of the wall. At least it smells nice. I was going to say, at least it smells nice. It's it smells very nice. Kernel. Fuck's sake. I'm so pissed off. It smells like great fancy. It, I was going to try and save that bit there. No, but... don't. You'll be covered in dust. Same problem as Wobs. Now I know, don't know how much I'm going to be taking. Take two. Hey, don't, don't fully whack it like that, it's expensive. So he goes, not... Um... What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back <laughs> to LSJTV. Crisis over. <laughs> I just need to start taking more care, because I just try and just... Uh, I don't even know, I don't even friggin' know. The room smells like grape, it smells grape. But, we did, um... I mean, there's still a fair bit in here, to be fair. It's still kind of up to here, we only spilt about half of it but probably less than half actually but in that case what I'm gonna do is top it up a little bit like so the problem being now I have all oh, that tastes good I have no idea how much I'm gonna take purple shaker check your shaker before you rip yourself Purple top to match, purple drink. You look great. <laughs> Thanks. I got a block nose. Allergies. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. It smells like grape though, it's fine. I can already smell it, it's all over the fucking Yeah, room. I was gonna say the it's, room already It smells, smells like, like um like grape sherbet. If you've ever been on holiday in England before and got one of them Philippi tubes full of sherbets and you get the different flavours, it smells I don't like a grape know what one. You mean. Am I yeah. my word for not knowing what you mean? Yeah, you've never been to Cornwall. Oh okay, yeah. It's worthy of a second sip, let's say that. Try it. I mean, it needs to be colder. It needs colder water. Maybe an ice cube in there or something. But it tastes really nice. I might actually prefer that to the spicy, but mine's just a completely yeah, different like flavour. You like that? Charlotte approved. You know it's good when Charlotte actually says she likes it. <coughs> Whoa. It smells, it tastes and smells like grape. <coughs> Fuck. It's my allergies. <sighs> I was just saying about my blood mm -hmm. nose, allergies. Well, well she's great. Isn't actually a really is it, it's not really a thing in the UK, is it? I'd never heard of it. But well, I'd heard of it, but I'd never had it. Um but it's just like a big American brand and they finally brought across some of the flavours. What's wrong with me? <laughs> brought across you need some, some of the flavours with jeez. With the Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookie flavour and the Welch's grape flavour. And um, within the Chips Ahoy video, or not Chips Ahoy, chocolate chip cookie video, you guys requested that we tried this. So, ah, pass the taste test. Let's see if I sweat like a mother. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <gasps> Fucking hell. I actually have abs. <laughs> Me! Well, kind of. I mean, it could be better, but check the vacuum. Coming along nicely. <sighs> Alrighty then, everybody. I've taken a few minutes just to chill out. Relax, that's the snap that you need. Right, okay, let me justify something. In that old clip, in the Ghost Greens clip, you hear this snap here. That is the snap that you need to know that your shaker is closed. In that clip, I quite clearly 
twice, smack it, you can hear the little and then I shake it and it still went everywhere. But I don't think it made quite enough of a to it for it to not. You know? Anyway, before we continue, um, I want to explain something that I kind of explain in pretty much every ghost or supplement video that I do, right? I am a bit of a kind of average Joe kind of when it comes to supplements, right? I don't I don't have extensive knowledge. I know a bit. I have certain qualifications and all this kind of stuff, but I don't know enough to ramble on about every single ingredient and kind of reel off exactly what every single thing is gonna do to you, how it will affect you and everything. Like I say, I know a bit, but I don't know enough to kind of, especially on camera, pretend to know every single teeny little thing. However, what I have for you here is, I don't know why I just put them back down. I have for you Ghost Burn and Ghost Burn Black. This is a kind of video focused on Ghost Burn Black. I'll link my uh, spicy pineapple margarita or margarita, if you know, you know. I'll link that video at the end of this one. I um, mean, you know, the, those little tabs that kind of come up on the screen. Now, the biggest difference, and pretty much the only difference, everything is the same, the caffeine is the same, everything like that. Um, the biggest difference is the one ingredient, gamma Butyrobrotane ethyl ester HCL, which basically is GBB for short. That is what makes you sweat. That is what brings that kind of, that heat just warms your kind of body up. They talk about thermogenesis and all this kind of crap. I'm not gonna go into that, I'm just not. <laughs> this isn't that kind of channel, right? But that is the biggest kind of factor with this product. The difference between the two is that GBB inclusion, right? So this, you can probably take this before work if you work an office job, if you're, I don't know, if you're going back to the office now and your gym is now open, you wanna take this before work. If you're one of those nutters that is there at five o'clock in the morning, credits to you, you might wanna take this if you're trying to burn a little bit of fat you know it's not a magic pill though bear that in mind but if you want to take this I wouldn't recommend taking it based on what I've just done I wouldn't recommend taking this before your trip to the office right you're not gonna to want to be sweating and you know just going throughout your day like I finished around about half an hour ago and I'm still hot like I'm warm I'm just I'm actually still a little bit kind of what's wrong with me I'm just dropping friggin everything anyway <sighs> chill out relax Liam Okay, you're not gonna to wanna to take it before you go to the office because you will be warm for kind of the rest of the day. I mean, granted, I haven't actually got changed yet. It's kind of gross to be fair, but anyway, um, my heart rate is actually still higher than it normally would be as well. Normally I would have recovered a lot by now, um, but this has just kind of kept me elevated in a slightly more fat burning zone because it is a thermogenic fat burner. Like I say, we're not gonna go into that. What we will go into is the stuff that I can comment on, right? The smell, the taste, everything like that, and the effects, what I actually think of the product. Now, I love this. Before I had this, I took this every single day. I took the mango flavor. Now I moved to the spicy pineapple margarita flavor purely because the mango was out of stock. This was brand new. I wanted to try this. I friggin' love it, right? I do take this every day. Every day I do cardio anyway, I wind up taking this one way or another, okay? This, I wish I had 17 tubs of this because I freaking love it. What I said in my original burn video is that I, I miss this. I didn't manage to get my hands on this. I've been waiting for this and this is the dogs. For me, anyway, not for everybody. This is for gonna, gonna be for the most part, I think. This is gonna be for most people. But for me personally, this is the one because I like to sweat when I train, right? It makes me feel good, it makes me feel like I'm training hard, it makes me feel like I'm working. And I know that sweat is not an indication of a good workout, of a good session or whatever. I know that's not the case, that's not what I'm trying to say. But for me, personally, mentally, and you gotta remember that's the hardest part in your head, that makes me feel like I'm training, making, makes me feel like I'm doing a good session. And you gotta bear in mind, this is my home gym, people. This is a garage gym. There's no AC in here, there's no heating in here. We have these little friggin' things in the corner here, but they can only do so much, you know? We live in the UK. We're here in the heart of England, in the Midlands, and it's cold a lot of the time. It is cold in here a lot of the time. Hence me wearing stuff like this. I like training legs or doing cardio in a hoodie or in a long sleeve top or something like that. This may well actually replace my need to do that purely because it does warm you up more so than the other product. 
okay? So in terms of servings and all that kind of stuff, I usually go for one scoop and around about a half. That's why I only topped it up a little bit when I actually kind of spilt some. It was filled to around about here. And then we spilt it to around about here. So I took that, that we spilled a little under half of it, right? So I just kind of topped it back up again. Um, but in terms of the exact dosages and all this kind of stuff, stay tuned for future videos um, to see me well, essentially just testing it again, right? I'll test it with two scoops or I'll test it with one scoop or whatever, see if it makes a big difference in terms of like my heart rate and work rate and all this kind of stuff. But overall guys, the taste, Friggin' awesome, job well done. I've never actually had Welch's grape, um, I think it's soda. I've never actually had the Welch's grape uh, flavor, just, uh, what, what, I've never had it. I live in the UK, I've never had it. But spicy pineapple margarita, I have had. And I love spicy pineapple margarita. And this just tastes like straight up pineapple juicy goodness. And this just tastes straight up grapey goodness. It tastes, some would say, great. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So with the amount that I personally use, one and a half scoops, um, I usually just round that off with my finger or whatever. Take that gives me around about 200, 225 grams of caffeine, uh, milligrams of caffeine, not grams of caffeine, Jesus. It does also mean there's gonna be about 7.5 calories, people. Seven and a half calories in this fat burner that you're gonna take. So be careful, some people might be spilling over. If you're gonna be walking up on stage, you take 7.5 calories too many, uh-uh-uh. But now, in all seriousness, guys, this is a serious, serious product and one of my favorites. Not only flavors, but products from Ghost, and that is saying something. All-time favorite flavor for me, top of it, has gotta be Peach Gamer. Oh my days. Peach Gamer is just something else. Peach Peach. Just peach. Peach Gamer is top tier, god level flavor, followed by everything else on just god level flavor rather than top tier, god level flavor. The flavors are sick. Anyone that says otherwise is just a freaking hater. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't see you there. I was too busy blocking out the haters. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I hope you took something from it. Maybe you will decide to pick either the Burn Black Up if it's in stock or the regular Burn Up through this video. If you do, let me know in the comment section down below. It'll be interesting to see your guys' thoughts on this. So, if you have enjoyed today's video, people, please let me know by leaving a like, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. Do me a favor, let me know what you wanna see me make next. Do you wanna see another ghost video, friggin' whatever the hell you wanna see? I will deliver people, because we're making pretty much daily videos right now because of quarantine, okay? So let me know, I need the ideas flowing. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, together we will grow, and I will see you a beautiful people. In the next one. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <gasps> Fucking hell.